and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a bevel gear support in Katia V5. This is the technical drawing of our bevel gear support and its dimensions. Let's start with opening a part design. we can start sketching out the profile for our bevel gear support before that i would like to show you the different views that you can use so this is the 3d view and the normal view will go back to your page you can also use this compass to rotate your plane Go ahead and click the profile icon and sketch out the rough shape of your profile. After which we can start putting in our dimensions. There are two ways to do a curve. One way is to directly sketch on your sketch layer. But if you do a sketch, a curve in the sketch layer, please remember to remove the line in between as so not to have an error in the future. And make sure that the points are coincident to each other. And the other one is by using edge fillet after you have padded your sketch. After that, we can mirror our sketch so we don't have to sketch each and every line in our profile. We'll just sketch half of it and because it's symmetrical, we can just mirror it. So to do the edge fillet, just click on the edge fillet icon and then click on the edge that you want to fillet. Next step is to do the walls, um, to do the walls or anything you want to call it. You can just do the profile in one go or you can do half of it and then just mirror it afterwards. Don't forget to make the semicircle at the top, which we will use to tension with the lines at the end. Make sure that the points are coincident to the circle. And then fillet the edges. Make another circle on top and pad to its appropriate length. After that, we can move on and make our two circles. We can just make one circle and then just mirror it to the other half. And then we'll make one pocket from the top to the bottom. We'll just use up to last so that it will make a hole all the way through. For the last step, we are going to do a side profile.
Next, we want to make a curve over here because in the drawing we have like we have a radius at the end. Therefore, we'll make a line, put it all, the, pull it all the way out, and make a curve with the radius of twenty. and then coincident the point and the wall after which we are going to make a line that connects these two points over here but as you can see, it does not turn green. And in order to fix that, make a new line that does not connect to anything. Make sure it turns blue and then coincident the line to the bottom of the base. After which, coincident the point. Green line means that it is fully defined. White line means it is underdefined. As you can see here, it's still white and we can still move this line over here. In order to make everything fully defined, just coincident the center of this radius and the wall. And you have yourself a fully defined profile. Next, we can just pad this to its appropriate length and then we can make a pocket over here fill in the needed dimensions and then we can pocket it through After doing that, we can head on and make another cylinder with both limits set. And then pocket again. Make another circle which is concentric to the last circle and then pocket that circle. And we are done. Thank you for watching. Until next time, leave a like, subscribe if you loved it. Thank you for watching.